And welcome back to The Factor Uncensored. Well, today, President Joe Biden signed the TikTok ban, giving the company nine to 12 months to divest or be banned here in America permanently. Our social media expert, Karen Diamond, joins us now here on The Factor Uncensored. Your thoughts about this and what it means for TikTok users out there? You know, I, I can just start by saying that a day that's been so foreshadowed and it's casted a dark cloud over TikTok for four years now is finally here because we've been talking about this since 2020. Um, you know, I think what it means for users is that they lose trust in a platform that they consider a safe place because the U.S. has done a smear campaign and here now Congress comes right behind it. To, to pledge on that and say, you know what, we don't trust it. We don't trust it so much that we're going to ban it until it is a U.S. owned entity. Well, you have both sides of the party, both Democrats and Republicans saying that uh, Americans b could be at risk by this and, and they could approach, China could approach the CEO, Xi Chu, and say, look, we need this information. And, and would he give it to them? That's their concern. And that's a threat. So uh, when I logged on to TikTok this morning, just to see what they were sharing about the platform and the safety net of the platform itself, uh, Susie Loftus, which is the trust and safety leader at TikTok, she confirmed that they're investing $2 billion into their security systems. So they came in fast to reassure the users this is a safe place. And the CEO show did confirm that as well on a statement that he made. No they will have to sell TikTok in nine to 12 months if they if they want to stay in the hands of American users. Are there any suitable buyers out there? Um, you know, I, I think what they're now vowing to is to keep the platform alive and thriving. They reassured their users that, you know, the threat of a ban is not viable and to its social media ecosystem that they've created. And they're really trying to reinstate that trust within the users so that they avoid losing any users, creators, or advertisers. So um, is there a possible risk? Yes, there's always a risk, but they're, they're vowing to keep the platform alive, not by selling or transferring ownership, but by fighting this in the court system. So they've said that this is the way we're going to go about it. Okay, and we heard from uh, the CEO today telling people to remain vigilant. Like he said, they're going to fight it in court despite what Congress and the president has signed into law. Karen Diamond, mm -hmm. we want to thank you for joining us here on The Factor Uncensored, and we'll be back with more Factor in just a moment. Stay with us.